So, Joe, moving on to you. Um, yeah. Obviously, there must have been a stage where you initially picked up your first camera or you, I don't know, drew your first picture. I don't know how the journey started for you, but where was that? And then how did it then transition into getting to the stage that so you are now? My first camera was given to me by, um, by Derek's mum. Yeah. Um, Derek plays keyboard in our church. Oh, okay. Um, that was years ago. It was some um, small blue camera. It was like a toy one anyway. Yeah. And from then, um, we did, we developed the pictures and she was like, wow, you can actually take pictures. Yeah. So it started from then and then as I got to secondary school, this was like in primary school, mm. I got to secondary school, I started taking pictures for Sankofa magazine. Mm. I don't know if you've heard, from, heard of I, them. I think I've heard the name before, yeah. yeah. I don't know if they're still around. Yeah. But, um, so I used to go to like raves when I was like in secondary school, just <laughs> yeah. taking pictures. Hey. <laughs> I mean, like, bad hey, boy. Hey, bad hey, boy. Hey, listen, listen, don't tell me. But yeah, I used to go to raves like yeah. I saw like Lethal Bees, the yeah. um, Young Man Standing, all, Stratford all, Rex. All those guys, yeah, Stratford Rex. Mm. And then it got to a point when I was in Rex, mm. um, I was on stage, Lethal B was doing his thing, mm. and then one bottle just came past. Like, <laughs> Wah! And I was like, I can't do this no more. Because mm. um, there was always fights and stuff. Mm. And then you're just having to run. Um, even, although that I had, had people like yeah. um, with me. But it was just becoming too much. Mm. Um, so I left. I stopped working for them. And then I couldn't afford a camera. Mm. Because these DSLRs are just like mad expensive. Yeah. Um, and then I kind of pursued um, a degree in multimedia. Um, so that follows suit from the hobby that you had picked yeah, up initially yeah. so you wanted but, to develop on that yeah. but I, funny enough it had, my multimedia degree had nothing to do with photography oh for real yeah, yeah. and then I even done a masters in it yeah. still had nothing <laughs> to do with photography yeah. and then um, I met uh, one of my friends Adebayo Derry mm. um, great guy he's another photographer um, he mm. was shooting a wedding and he asked me to go and, like he had to go out and do something mm. so he was like oh just point and shoot like just take the camera and shoot yeah. like, oh, look at the bride and snap right, I hope the bride doesn't hear about this but still yeah. so I took the pictures from him he came back and was like wow you can take pictures I was yeah. like yeah I used to do it a while back but I stopped and he's like no you should get into it so I actually one time begged my mum to buy me a camera mm. and she was like what age was this though? Um, it's like 22 yeah and then she was like it's five hundred pound. I'm not buying the camera. <laughs> I said, no, mom, please look, trust me. Yeah. She said, no, I'm not buying it. And then I was able to persuade her, and she bought it. And then it kind of picked up from then. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, then I was built upon my equipment. Yeah. And just pursued it. Oh, amazing.